right guys welcome back to my channel it's hope for today's video i'm gonna be going over all of my boots loafers basically a part two of my shoe collection before getting into all of these shoes i want to talk about today's video sponsor which is anna luisa if you guys have watched previous videos you probably know that i am an anna luisa ambassador so i got this month's package if you guys are ever wondering like what jewelry i'm wearing like the earrings i'm wearing right now and then the rings usually it's anna luisa that's kind of like my everyday pieces so this is kind of how it comes it comes in a cardboard box which is 100 percent recyclable anna luisa is a carbon neutral jewelry brand they have so many different pieces on their site so whether you want gold silver necklaces rings bracelets they literally have everything and a ton of different styles i already have a ton of pieces from anna luisa so for this month i just wanted to pick out things that i could give as a gift so this first one is just a pair of silver hoop earrings and they're kind of like a chunk gear style i'm pretty sure it's the same one that i'm actually wearing right now the next piece that I picked up is another pair of silver hoops. These are the Rocks Mini Silver. I actually own these as well. This is one of my favorite pieces that I have from Anna Luisa, so I thought it would be a really good gift with the one that I just showed. The difference between this one and the previous one is it's kind of like an oval, almost rectangle shape rather than just a circle. Next piece is actually kind of similar. So this is the Rock Small, so it's one size up from the previous one. Also kind of like that oval rectangle shape, and this one is in the color gold. And then last piece that I picked up is a ring and this one is also going to be a gift. It's the amber ring and it's just a gold chunky style. So those are all the pieces that I picked up for this month from Anna Luisa. I feel like they'd be really good gift idea. So if you are looking for any last minute gifts, definitely go check out Anna Luisa. My coupon code, which actually used to be 10%, is actually 20% now, which is even better. I believe it's HopeC20 and I'll put it on the screen. So that'll give you 20% off on the site. If there's anything that you're interested you guys can click the link in my description box to check out Anna Luisa. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I scooted over to the side just so I can put the try-on clip right here. But first up, we have a pair of combat boots. This one is my personal favorite. It's the Naked Wolf Saturn boots. And this one has like a huge platform, so it gives you a lot of extra height. It has some details like the back says Naked Wolf with the little wolf logo. I'm typically like a five to six, and I got a US five in this, and I like the way it fit. And one thing to know is I didn't have to break them in or anything, but do keep in mind that because it's a really chunky platform shoe, it is a bit on the heavier side and then the other pair of combat boots that i have are just the Jaden doc martens i specifically have the one with the faux fur lining in the inside this is a size us5 so same as the naked wolf ones and i do notice doc martens do run pretty big if i'm comparing the two i feel like Jaden is kind of heavier so next up is knee-high boots. First up, we have Steve Madden lug sole style boots, and I've worn this quite a bit. For this one, I did get a size US 6, so like I said, I kind of range from a US 5 to a US 6, and I would say definitely happy that I did. So if anything, it kind of runs on the smaller side. But overall, I do think they're pretty comfortable. I didn't have to break them in or anything. And then I just have that same exact shoe in a different color. So this is like a cream ivory color. And one thing that I forgot to mention, since I'm on the shorter side, I have short legs. It's super hard to find boots that are a good length this way it usually goes past the knee so next one is this knee-high boot from jeffrey campbell it's a black color it has a square toe a block style heel it has a zipper on the side and then this is just the same exact jeffrey campbell one in a dark brown color so exact same shoe so the next one is something that i would say is another one of my favorites in my collection and these are these tony bianco boots i think it's called the fantasy boot if i'm not getting that wrong a square toe style a little zipper on the side and to me these are super comfortable so i got this one in a size six it fits well perfect length so next up is another knee high boot kind of like a really skinny stiletto style heel one thing to note on this one is it kind of is a little bit longer than i prefer so you guys can kind of see the back one right here is the shuts and the front one is tony bianco so you can kind of see like how it comes out a little bit more so this next shoe is my most recent addition to my collection these are from the brand and knee high i think that's how you pronounce it and they are knee high boots pointed toe and kind of like a stiletto style heel the length is perfect for shorter legs and i got a size 36 the next three shoes are all knee high boots as well when i hold it up like this they all kind of look the same but i will talk about the differences the leg portion of these style boots are like super flimsy it's one of those stretch style boots if you guys have seen them first one is the naked wolf version these are the spice stretch boots 
boots so you can see there's a platform at the bottom of rounded toe it has a little wolf logo on the side and then the back has a big wolf logo which i know that's one thing that a lot of people don't like if you're wanting something without a logo this one is not for you the other option is this one this one actually has a double platform with the height of the shoe they're both pretty similar side by side also a rounded toe style there's no logo or anything so it's a little bit more like simple third option that i have is another steve madden one this one is a little bit different because it's almost a square toe i would say the leg part on this is the biggest in terms of like the calf width area Last two boots before moving on to loafers. The first one is the Cobra Steve Madden boots. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's pretty popular on social media. These give you so much extra height. And I got a size six in this, and I would say it's pretty true to size. And so this other one is from Naked Wolf. It kind of looks the same if you guys can see side by side, but this one has just like one platform, but they do end up being around the same height. It has that like Naked Wolf strip going down with the little logo on the side. The Naked Wolf one feels a little bit heavier but it's not that much of a difference the naked wolf ones do run a little bit more narrow than the steve madden ones so if you do have wider feet maybe go for the steve madden ones this one is from steve madden and then it has like a double platform so again another one of those um if you guys notice like they all have that double platform for this one i originally got a five and a half i think and then i had to return it because for some reason these do run pretty small compared to all the other steve madden shoes that i get i did end up exchanging it for a size six and a half and i would say especially because i do wear these with socks definitely would probably size up half a size or maybe even a full size similar to that except this one is like a mary jane style so it has that little strap going across the ankle so this has a double platform as well this was a size six and i would say based off how i'm usually at five to six it kind of runs a little bit on the smaller side is a little bit more narrow than the steve madden one that i just showed so next up is this other loafer or like mary jane style i don't know patent leather so it's shiny bold buckle right here and this is how the top looks so kind of like more square toe i did get a size six i would say i probably could have went to a five and a half or maybe even a five there is a kind of extra space right here but i do wear these with socks so it's fine moving on to the loafer first one is probably my favorite one the alexander wang loafers i think it's like the carter loafer it has a huge platform at least compared to my other loafers this is how like the heel shape looks these are a little bit on the heavier side because i love those alexander wang ones i wanted to find you guys a dupe that i could test out and see if i like and i feel like the steve madden one the delco i think that's the name is probably the closest thing i could find that i actually like as you guys can see like side by side they're pretty similar in terms of chunkiness it's from steve madden it's just black so the next two shoes it looks like those prada loafers but they're not they're both from princess polly you guys can see the bottom part of the shoe looks exactly the same i'm very bad at like articulating things but if you guys can see like how the bottom of the shoe looks these are actually oxfords i forgot to mention that i always get them confused so it has like the lace up on the front this is how the toe shape looks probably one of my most worn shoes and they're from princess polly so it's under 100 so i got this in a size five and it fits great similar to that exact same style but this is a loafer so it does not lace up it has a gold little detail in the front i did end up getting this in a size six and it does run a little bit big on me then i have another pair of doc martens these are i think the 1461 smooth leather oxfords and it has like the same exact height or like platform as the Jaden. these are another wardrobe essential for me i got a size uk3 which i think is a us5 i'm pretty sure the last loafer i have these are from steve madden and this is how the front looks it's just like rounded really good height super comfortable this i got a size us6 and i think with socks it's a good fit so those are all of the shoes that i have in my collection that are boots loafers if you want to see the sneaker version i'll link it up here in the cards so go check out part one don't forget you guys can check out anna luisa i'll put my code again on the screen i believe it's hopec20 and you guys can click the link in my description box to shop their site <laughs>